Hi folks, I have an Arizona thrift haul for you. I went to Arizona just a real quick trip to visit some friends and you know, I'm gonna stop at some thrift stores. I didn't have as much time as I wanted to to stop because I had a show to get back for. Oh, brag bag. But uh, it was, it was so fun. Phoenix has amazing thrift stores. If you've never been or you just want a thrift vacation or you're driving down the town, especially the Western part, there's just like a thrift store like every five blocks. You look at the map and it's just like Sabres, Goodwill, Senior Thrift, blah, 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 Value Village. Uh, so here's my thrift haul. And I'm talking. First place I stopped was Good Goodwill. Actually, the first place I tried to stop is in Quartzsite, but it doesn't exist. But I did find a good used bookstore. Anyway, moving on. This was Free People. This was actually in the maternity section. It's a tunic. Uh, and it's probably why it didn't get scooped up. And it's just the older tag. And it is missing one of the button covers, which I did not notice. It's such a busy pattern. It's like hard to see. So that's okay though, because it's super cute. It's a tunic, could be a dress with some tights or just with your fanny out. Got a little ruffle sleeve. I actually have worn this a couple times. So not a huge, in terms of free people, I feel like the dresses and like statement pants and jumpsuits do the best. But uh, this one, it was selling for around between 20 and 30 but with the missing button cover. I don't know, I paid 5 dollars but I'm not mad because I can wear it and that's fun. Next, I stopped in the bra section. I know a lot of resellers on YouTube always talk about bras, bras of bras. I sell vintage, I sell vintage bras sometimes, but at the bins, it's usually too crazy where the ones I find are kind of beat up, but I'm going to start just grabbing them all and going through them because they are so light and it does make sense storage-wise. So this is just the bra, I mean, so with my bra experimentation, I brought this Third Love bra. It's their 24-7 completely seam seamless bra got a few dents but it's in pretty good shape it's a 32f so it's a big bra so more expensive i think this retailed for 68 and so we'll see i mean my goal is just to buy a bunch of different brands a bunch of different bras put them up i found one these were this was 2.99 but the next some sometimes people put bras like i was at savers and they had bras for 9.99 which is not a good flip so yeah outlet for sure or just like super cheap ones it's how i'm gonna start my bra adventure until i learn more Next, okay, this was the find, I'm going in chronological order. This was the find of the trip. This is a Ken's, I didn't even know what it was at first. I thought maybe it was like Ikea, or I thought maybe it was several pieces of fabric. This is a tablecloth from Ken Scott, who was like a big designer, kind of like Poochie style print designer. Let's see if we can, there it is. And he's passed away, but Gucci a couple years ago did a collaboration. And those pieces sell for a lot. And his vintage stuff should sell for a lot and can sell for a lot. There's not a lot of it. And it is like amazing. There's this fish pattern that's, uh, mwah. But uh, it doesn't have a great resale value. But this one's definitely more like geometric and on trends. So I put it for 200. Uh, we'll see if it, I don't know if it'll really get me 200, but I'm just going to hold on to it because I also like love it. If I had a giant table, I would keep it. It's pretty, pretty large, like for a super long wooden table. So find the trip. Okay. That's all I found in that, that store. And then I went to value village. Cause I was like, Oh, I miss value village. The ones in Houston are, Mwah. and so I went to value village and it was in like a bad part of town where I'm like, is this good? I don't know. First thing I got is this dress. This It is Ralph Lauren Denim's Ply, which is a retired label. I think they retired like a few years ago. It's been a decent amount of time. It's like their more Western line, but I love their pieces. Um, they don't have a huge resale value unless it's like the super luxe, like suede fringe or something like that. But I do find it sells quickly when it does sell because people do like it, including me. So I bought this dress to resell and to wear, but it's got like... I don't know if you can see. It's got like little holes here in the armpits, which is hard to see because it's like layered. So bummer, but also secretly happy because I'm just going to keep wearing it. It didn't have holes. I mean, it probably not a huge money maker. I probably would have put it for 36 and probably taken the lower offer. But um, so yeah, I mean, I always pick up dead in supply, especially it's at the bins, as long as it's not like 10 bucks or full price. Okay, so that I got that, and then I got this amazing vase. This is just like a mid-century geometric piece, and I found the exact piece online by Robert Maxwell for Pottery Craft, but this does not have that stamp, and it's a pretty big like embossing stamp that goes all around the bottom. So I don't know if this is just somebody copying it, it just doesn't have the stamp for some reason, if this was a test piece, what is, what is going on with it, but... 
I find it love a lovely base. It's totally my style. Totally what's been selling for me with the stoneware, with the stoneware and like the chino glazes. I put this as forty, but it probably will sell for less because just because the Robert Maxwell pieces are kind of mass produced. But we'll see. I'm happy to hold on for it. With pieces that I really like that I can just put on a shelf, I'm happy to like, you know, just hold on to it till I get the price I want. Uh, I also bought, I forgot to bring, I'll flash a photo, this romper uh, by Star of India. It's one of those light cotton 90s rompers. Uh, I sold this brand before. It's, it's kind of like a great kind of quality. You know, the, kind of like this dress is uh, made in India. It's like that Indian cotton that's super soft, but very glossy. So I got that, and that was only like $3.99. Leather stuff was overpriced, but then it was like color-coded, you know, prices off. I got a couple of records, which I probably paid too much for, but I just get excited when I see non-scratched records in a thrift store. But like if I saw these records at a record store for $3.99, I might not have picked them up. Uh, but I'm still I'm still enjoying them. They're also good gift records. I got like a, I got a Beach Boys record and ZZ Top Trace Hombres. That's all I got at that thrift store. I picked up some bras, but then I put them back because they were like five ninety nine, and I'm like, that's not part of that's not experimentation price. <laughs> Next, I went to a Savers, and the first thing I found is this Roadrunner plate. Ugh, I think this is so cute. It's a uh, fine bone china. It was a dollar ninety nine. I don't love shipping glassware plates unless I super love it. But this one—it's a small. It's like a saucer plate. There's a mud. There's two different mugs with this pattern of line. So I don't know which one goes with it. And there's there's somebody else who's selling this plate, but just like a little bit bigger. But I couldn't find any evidence of like a full set. Uh, Elizabethan fine bone china, Taylor and Kent, England. It's the nine. It just has a number nine on it as well. And so, not a big seller. I think I, I don't know, I put it for like 19 or 20, but it's also just cute. Next we have this amazing pajama set. I am a sucker for anything astrology print. This is a faux silk, it's just polyester, or like 90s astrology set. Look at that pattern. It's just, just like a yellowy gold color, intimate essentials, size extra large. It's in great shape, and I like tested the elastic. I was like, oh, the elastic's in great shape. It's missing, it's missing a drawstring, which I can put a new drawstring in. That's pretty simple. You just put a, a pin through it and then work the pin around. But we'll see. I, I listed it without the drawstring, and whenever I have some time, I'll add it. I'm hoping it sells before that, but I have it at a fair price, and it's kind of a winter set. It's long sleeve, but it's also like, oh, come on, astrology print. Next piece I forgot, and I'm at my friend's house cat sitting, but it's a, a law, it's a pink linen dress. It's probably midi length, uh, size 18. I've had some interest. Somebody did like, what's your best offer? But I'm like, my best, if you ask me that, I'm going to say the price that it is. If you give me an offer, I may take the counter. Anyway, but it's, it's such a great piece. I'm okay hanging on to it. It was only $3.99. Last place I went was Brass Armadillo. There are two locations. I got the one off the 10, um, but Real great antique mall. I only had like a few minutes. I only had like 20 minutes. I didn't see the whole thing, but I went to my favorite ben I went to my favorite vendor who's like a lot of old posters, rock stuff, and I got I got this Elvis t-shirt. It's a little like it's been turned pink and it's got some holes and discoloration. It's just an iron-on. I paid ten dollars for it. I'm not gonna get a whole bunch because of the condition, maybe like 25, 30, but I might just keep it for myself because I do love Elvis. And I also got this super trippy little leprechaun tea towel. It was $8.99. I'll probably sell it for around $15, $20. Not a huge moneymaker, but it's just something so bold. It brings people into my store. Look at those mushrooms. Look at this tripped out little leprechaun. And so I didn't have time to go through the whole thing. And then one last thing I wanted to talk to you about is a brand not to sleep on. I... At the outlet, I always find Rain Spooner. Rain Spooner is a surf brand. They make Hawaiian shirts, which I usually don't even look at Hawaiian shirts, but now I always look at Hawaiian shirts because you can find Rain Spooner. I usually sell them for around like $40 to $60. I maybe sold one for $30, and I also sold one for like $100. It all depends on the print. They've been around since the 50s, and I just got this one. It's this really cool... Hobie Dana Point California print. This is actually a, a pretty good print. I'm gonna start this at 75. It may go for a little less. I'll show you the label. There's a bunch of different labels and collabs. 
they've done uh the one i sold for 100 was like a fireman print i'll show it up there uh so yeah don't sleep on rain spooner because i always find it at the outlet so people aren't picking it up and uh it's really easy also to go through the wine shirts when you're in a thrift store just like boom 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 look for rain spooner and uh yeah are there other hawaiian shirt brands i should be looking at let me know in the comments okay i have my phone storage is gonna die so i'm gonna go but thanks for listening